Ok, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, testing, testing. Uh, ok, so this is what happened. Uh, you see this uh, screen right here, this uh, monitor right here? Um, well, that's what I was getting when I um, did the export uh, of the video, of my video, a video that I was editing. So, here I'm going to show you. The settings right now on this uh, PC is a Windows PC with an Intel uh, processor. Um, I'm going to try to do, um, well, I'm going to do the export. I'm going to rename this. Uh, test 1000. And uh, whatever uh, settings you want for the output of your video, yes, it's up to you. It's, it's, it was the same for me. Uh, I tried multiple, multiple settings here that did nothing and when I start the export that's the screen right there so the final product the final video is this okay so that's not good um, so what I found out is that in this uh, the control panel of Pinnacle Studio 26 right here Go to export and preview and we're going to change this. Uh, I don't know much. Of, well, okay. Give me a sec. We're going to change this and this, like I said, I have an Intel uh, based uh, Windows computer. I'm going to try now. Say no, it will just create uh, another copy with the same title. And as you can see, it works, it works, it's, it works fine. Okay, close that. Now another option, same export and preview. Of course, if you have an AMD uh, based computer, you will you probably use this setting. Uh, you can also use, I think that you can also use none. Play OK. We're going to try again. Export. Again, we say no, it just creates another file with the same name. And this would be like number three. And if you play it, it's going to play just fine. OK, so that's just for the export of the uh, video. I let me change this to Intel. I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, like I said, that's just for the exporting of the video. And this, I still don't know how to uh, how to fix that. Um, so I'm gonna still uh, look into that and. We'll see what happens. Uh, thank you very much. And hopefully we'll talk about this later on. Thank you.